The crisis, what crisis? And that is, as you mentioned, the view of the Umdoni Mayor Sibongile Kati. Now, looking at that story for us, ENCA's Latiwi Mkluli. Municipal offices are open again after a week-long shutdown. A business forum was demanding answers over a tender worth millions, which they believe should have been awarded to locals. The residents were also protesting over service delivery issues. During a media briefing, the mayor said the illegal shutdown of the municipality caused a lot of disruptions and that the matter is being investigated. The investigation is underway uh, because uh, there is a scent that has been in the, in the municipal gates that has been uh, uh, stopping uh, uh, communities uh, to, to enter as well as, as the employees of Umtoni to enter, enter the municipal premises. The residents' main concern is electricity, which they haven't had for years. In this issue, we are going to be able to get the money. We are going to be able to get the money. We are to be able to get the money. Because we are going to be able to get the money. We are going to be able to get the money. We are going to be able to get the money. We are going to be able to get the money. Toilet. Number two, The mayor says a project will start in July, which will address this issue. The council community was duly informed uh, that ESCOM's electrification project will commence during their current financial year. The municipality has also made a budget provision to complete. The Ward 1, which is the, uh, uh, one of the areas there that are affected by the electrification projects. In response to questions about the municipal manager's qualifications, the municipality says that they followed all due processes when hiring the incumbent. Politics, they will always mislead the media. So the issue of the qualification of the municipal manager, we even ask her to go and, 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 and generate a record from the previous institution where she studied. She came up with those, uh, with those uh, qualifications. Meanwhile, residents have warned that they will return to the streets or shut down the municipal offices once more if service delivery issues aren't fully addressed. Let's see Scottsburg.